Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Gearhead Caramel, shall we? Well, uh, the developer reached out to me about this game, and I have to say it sounded very interesting. I don't know anything about the Gearhead games, I've never played them. I understand that the previous incantations are free to play, and this is a longtime single developer of roguelikes, an English professor like myself, and this is a game that is heavy on procedural story narration, so I'm very excited to see what this is all about. So, um, I'm just gonna click start campaign, maybe? And no characters found. Okay, so then I gotta make a character. So let's make a character. Oh my! Okay, so look at these graphics. This is sweet. This is like, it feels like Sega CD, you know, kind of. Okay, so can I go random? And random portrait, um, random everything. All right, uh, <laughs> nice. Um, can I change, let's go male, and let's go random, and let's just say we are, you know, now let's be a young, a young college graduate, and uh, I guess these are our different weapons that we start with. I don't really know anything about these. Uh, Claymore is fine; it's a big sword, as far as I understand it. Uh, we'll go ahead and say, "All right, uh, we have good body, we have good perception, craft." Uh, okay. We are good with computers, negotiation, science. We have the academic badge. Dead Zone Fellowship Passionate. Don't, don't know what those tags mean. Um, let's see if I can get a different uh, portrait here. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Uh, there we go. Oh, yes. The powder blue. I like it. All right. So let's see. My story says... I grew up in Markheim Fortress. Growing up, you always dreamed of becoming a mecha pilot. Okay, good. After high school, you went to university. You studied science and computer science. Eh, that's about right. You always felt that you were destined for greater things. You talked a mechanic into giving you a free mecha. That was, must have been a good conversation. And set out to become a cavalier. If life has taught you anything, it's that we're all in this together. You strive to honor this fellowship with other cavaliers. So this must be my fellowship tag. Um, and so, you know, um, fine. All right. And there we go. And let me just look at the, the portrait editing. Oh, you can edit it somewhat. Okay. Um, let's see what the hair can do. Uh, this is ridiculous. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's see what different style. Oh, okay. Um, all right, that's fine then. And then, um, hair accessory. No, but I want the, uh, big smile mouth. Can I get a, a big smile is fine. Smiling eyes. Yes, indeed. And I wonder if I can change the colors of these. The shoes. Okay, let's see. No accessory. Gloves. Oh, those look good. Yeah, give me those gloves. Stony face. Chubby head. Alpha. Okay. Um, let's see. We're okay with this. We're okay with this. Uh, the eyebrows are just fine. Oh. 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 The vest. No, the jacket is good. Oh. Okay. No, that's good. And then... Done. Okay. Um... I wonder if there is a way to affect the hair at all, uh, or the color of it. I see that you can do... Oh, edit colors. Here we go. Perfect. Um, I 
No, that's not quite what kind of a jacket I'd like. Uh, let's go for blue. Yeah, good. Now, I don't really know what I'm editing, though. Oh, maybe I just changed the whole thing of that color. So, for example, this is good, like sea green. Oh, no, you can maybe only change the color of your outfit or something. Okay, then we'll go with, like, uh, this nice blue. Okay, great. All right, let's roll. Let's save this character, and let's start the campaign with this character. And what are my choices? This is the Bear Bastards Mecha Camp. <laughs> that sounds funny. Look at that guy. Learn everything you need to know about being a mecha pilot from a notorious bandit hoping to cash in on his involvement in the Typhoon Incident. Fun and educational. Several months after the Typhoon Incident, you're invited to a charity mecha tournament at the newly built Moana Arena. And a Dead Zone Drifter is a village you've been defending needs a power station. Getting them a new one will require questing from one end of the dead zone to the other. Well, this sounds great. I'm going to go start with the camp so that I can learn how to do stuff, hopefully. All right. You enter Last Hope Memorial Park, eager for the first day of Mecha Camp. Today is the day you learn how to be a proper cavalier. Okay. Well, that sounds good. Hell, here he is. Here's the Bear Bastard himself, a 35-year-old male swashbuckler with a mustache, a stubbly beard, amazing sunglasses, and a hat that, well, I guess he's a bear. He also has a belt buckle that is BB for his name. How about that? Charming. Listen close, man cub. I'm Bear Bastard, hero of the typhoon incident. I'll be running this camp for aspiring cavaliers such as yourself, why don't you come over here so we can talk? All right. So he's over there. Um, and if I mouse over him, it just tells you, like, you know, some of his stats and everything. And here's me. Okay. And so I can click to move. And oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Let's go over there. And good job. You can move around and interact with other people. You're going to be doing a lot, a whole lot of that as a cavalier. Um, gee, this lesson has really been worth the money I paid so far. You say that now, but just wait until the next bit. We're going to try moving around and bumping into stuff. That's how you interact with most things in this messed up world. Just walk straight up to a thing and see what happens. All right. So you can um, move with the mouse. And you can use the arrow keys to move the map around. Okay. So I'll walk over here and I'll like try to bump into this. A magnificent statue of Bear Bastard looking as heroic as possible given the subject matter. A golden plaque at the bottom of the statue reads, in honor of Bear Bastard, savior of last hope, master of the impossible. Wow. I'd like a statue of myself, but this is his camp, so I guess that's what we'll do. And let's go talk to him again. Um, your next job is to walk around for a bit and check out things at the park. Let's do some visualization. You can do that by moving the cursor over the thing you want to examine using either your mental mouse or a spiritual numeric keypad and left-clicking or pressing enter. Uh, what happens if I right-click instead? Oh, now you're getting into advanced territory. Right-clicking brings up your Mind Palace pop-up menu. From there, you could choose to interact with the object or do a whole bunch of other things. All right, so let's say, for example, um, this Shrine of Glory. I can right-click on it. I can use a skill... Um, I can check my, the inventory, field headquarters, memos, or I can center the camera on me. Let's do that, first of all. So if I use the num, like, if, if I wanted to go uh, without using the mouse, I can just move this orange box around, I think. And then, like, I can push enter and my character will walk over there. Wow, look at you, moving around the park, just like a pro. Yeah, and then I can click on this and this plaque on this shrine reads let me strive every moment to make myself better and better to the best of my ability that all may profit by it oh that's nice all right let's just go over to the shrine of justice let me think of the right and lend all my assistance to those who need it with no regard for anything but justice wow all right that's enough bumping practice for now you can finish looking around the park then come back and talk to me again we got one more lesson before you're ready to get in the mech the plaque on the shrine reads, Let me be considerate to all and everything I do, and wrong by no one. 
duty says, let me be honest and true at all times and never fail to fulfill my responsibilities. And peace says, let me act always with compassion and wield my immense power only to protect life. Okay. I've just sent a message to your phone. You can take a look at memos by pressing M or right-clicking to get the pop-up menu. After this, we move on to the good stuff. Okay. So... Uh, I can push M. I left a present for you somewhere in the park. I see it down there. I'll just say you can find it between justice and peace. Pretty good riddle, huh? To pick it up, move to the tile where the box is, then click on that tile again. Okay. I'll close it, and then we'll move over there, and I'll click on the tile again. I picked up the present. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to right-click on myself. Suddenly, the box explodes in your hands. Ouch. Surprise. And let that be a lesson to you. You can't just trust everyone you meet. That was just a firecracker, but it could have been a plasma grenade or worse. Thanks, Bear. This is what you call tough love at the School of Teaching. Come back over here. I have one last thing to discuss. Tough love. Man, look at my character portrait. I look great. I kind of look like an Elvis impersonator in space. All right. That's all you need to know about moving around. Next, I'm going to teach you how to fight. Head to the park exit, and we can go to the Last Hope Arena. All right, so I guess that's this. Having finished training at the park, it's time to go to Mecha Arena and learn how to fight. Indeed it is. It's. is. I've been waiting for this moment. Thank you. I'm excited. This is going to be fantastic. All right. Um, so, let's go to the arena. All right. So Last Hope doesn't really have a mech uh, arena, but it does have this quarry. That's why I hold the camp on weekends, so no one accidentally steps on a bulldozer or nothing. Quarries are a great place for mecha battles. Your mecha for this fight will be the Ice Wind. It's a versatile, high-tech machine, and I can get five of them together in a value pack. You'll start in exploration mode, just like moving around at the park. By the way, if you haven't read the instruction manual yet, now would be a great time to start. You should be able to find it under your seat in the event of a crash over water. You can also use it as a flotation device. Too much water is dangerous. That's why I never touch the stuff. All right. Hey, look at me. I'm in a mech, and it looks kind of like me. All right. Um, and let's see. Field headquarters. Okay, here's me. And I've got the claymore I guess I started with and the wind that I'm in right now. And we'll just say done. All right. We can go over here. And just look around, I guess. At some point in time, you're going to see the danger zone. It'll look like a flashing red line on the ground. Oops. Um, can I get that again? I accidentally dismissed that. I wonder if it's if it's kept in memos. Um, I'm going to check here. View memos. No memos. All right. Well, let's find a danger zone. There it is. Oh, yep. The danger zone is probably the range of that mech's abilities. Okay. Uh, use wind ice skill. I'm scouting. All right, hostile unit. Search. All right, we found it. All right. Okay, and I move. I'm gonna move into it. You're now fighting Aki Koada. Combat adds a few more controls to your screen. On the top left, those are your action categories. Then in the middle, that's your action clock. Over the top right is your action selector. There's a whole bunch of different things you can do in combat. Usually, you get to do two actions on your turn, as shown by the clock. You can spend half an action on movement and still do something else as long as that clock section stays white. To see all your possible actions, you can scroll through them with either the middle mouse wheel or the arrow keys on your keyboard. Some actions have multiple options. You can click those or press right and left to move through them. Yeah, science skill can be used to spot weaknesses in an enemy mecha, making it more likely your shots will go through their armor. Given that these ice winds are barely armored at all, it's probably not worth using that now. Performance can be used to inspire your ally. Negotiation can be used to charge up an ally's MP at the cost of your stamina. Since you're fighting alone, neither of these skills will be useful right now. Okay. All right, he, he shot at me. So that was his turn, I guess. 
And okay, so up in the center, you see my actions remaining. I have two. And however far I want to move is going to use up, you know, my bottom piece of this pie. All right, so let's say I want to attack this guy. And uh, let's see. No, I don't want to really do any of those things. Um, I'm going to say left click on him then. And I can attack or I can use a skill. What are my skills? Scouting. Um, do I have any more? Looks like all I have is really scouting. So then let's attack the silver cannon with a burst. I'm using my silver cannon rather on this guy. And I'm getting what his I'm attacking his right arm. Oh, I didn't mean to move over there, but okay. Attack this guy. Missed. All right, he's moving away. He missed me. All right, we're going to attack with the right arm on this guy. Uh, looks like I'm doing this right. Let's try this again. Oh, here we go. We right click on this and I can twin combat lasers on him. Okay, I tried. And twin combat lasers on him. I missed. All right. He's missed. Okay. We're going to right click and I'm going to try uh, silver cannon on him. There we go. I missed. And Silver Cannon again. Hit him. We missed. Oh, God. Oh, dear. My right arm has been destroyed. All right. Um, so I can walk or I can skim. We're going to attack using uh, punch rockets. Fire 20, I guess, at this guy. Okay, we did hit him. Oh, we blew him up. Congratulations, you won the combat. That's just about all the training we have for today. Let's head back to the cabin. That's nearly it for the first day. One thing left to do before going to sleep. Over there in front of your bed is a footlocker with all kinds of goodies. Don't worry, no fireworks this time. I'm renting this cabin. Self-serving. Head over there, grab whatever equipment you like, and try it on. All right. Um, and here is... Amari, uh, let's see. Oh, there's the ammo box. There's another person. And there's another present. I should definitely pick that up. Mono puffs, okay. Door, use the door. Uh, can't open it. Uh, ammo box. Once you pick out your stuff, you can see your inventory by pressing I, or you can get to it through the field HQ by pressing H. Or you can do either with the pop-up menu, right-click, or shift-enter. I'm tired. You might want to check out the field HQ as well as your inventory since you probably have some experience to spend. After that, just go to bed since there's nothing else to do around here. We'll have the final lesson in the morning. All right. So I'm looking in the chest, and uh, there's, like, armored legging. There's a breastplate. A denim jacket, that sounds sweet. Elbow pads, nice. A pistol, a katana, knee pads, jackets, shotguns. Man, this stuff's awesome. What are mono puffs? Oh, snack cakes, okay. Well, I pretty much want everything you got. So armored legging. I'm just going to take everything. I'm just going to click on all of this. And hopefully that's good. I'm going to say done. And then I'm going to go into my inventory by pressing I. But I'm going to go to my, um, let me see myself, field HQ, and let's go to this, and let's say, equip it on my right leg. All right. Um, uh, wait, which one's better? They look the same. This is just better, so it's lighter, so I'll equip that. Torso. Equip it. Right arm. Equip it. Right, oh, equip it, left arm, good. And the slug pistol, damage three stars. Um, do I have either of those things? First of all, let me equip these knee pads. I'm not going into battle without knee pads. And we need a leather jacket. No, no, it's not as good as my breastplate, okay. And... <laughs> he has a hat, okay, sure. It's just like his hat. 
And then we'll equip this axe because it sounds sweet. And then can I equip like this katana in the other hand? Yeah, look at me. Um, oh, no, wait, maybe you can't. Or can I? Yeah, I, d I can. Sweet. All right, done. So at this point, um, I equipped a bunch of stuff, which is great. I feel terrific about that. And then I'm in this little house, and who's this person? I brought a pack of monopuffs all the way from Ipshil, and now I can't find them. I'll bet one of the other campers ate them. I believe these are yours? Thank you. I won't forget that you returned my snacks. When I'm hungry, I'm just not myself. All right. Excuse me, it was a small quest. I want to go to bed, but I can hear something crawling around the walls. I think this cabin is infested with rats or something. Don't worry, we're right on the edge of a dead zone, and there are far worse things lurking outside. You are not helping me relax right now. No, I'm not. I did not help you relax. That's true. Hi. Congratulations on your win. I did my best, but you came out on tap. Oh, she's the person I fought in the mech. Um, thank you. You fought well. Thank you. Maybe we'll get a chance to fight on the same team someday. That would be cool. Awesome. All right. So, um, here's me, and there's my mech. Okay. And I'm rolling. All right. So, I think I probably either want to try to go find the big guy or leave or go to sleep. Um, and I think we'll get into that in the next episode. Everyone, I think this is a great first look at this game. I'd love to hear your thoughts, opinions, reactions to this title. Like I said, I'd heard nothing um, about any of these games until I was contacted by the dev, and um, it is a singular project of love, and you can tell, and it has this awesome throwback isometric feel with uh, these a wicked kind of like sense of humor uh, and some awesome old school graphics and actually pretty good music too. So tell me what you think in the comments below. Have you played any of these games before? Um, do you have any questions, concerns? What, what are your impressions? I hope you have an excellent evening or day. Thanks again for watching everyone. Take care.